Sea Dream has a lot of haters, but let's just see what that's all about, okay? We got a lot of HP on Sea Dream, obviously, because it does scale off of HP. And it's kind of really simple how to build her. In fact, you just need to stack HP. As you can see, even in the trial, you have two P's set for both. And yeah, that, that, that's where it's at. Okay, Constellations. With Constellation 1, you get a little bit more damage bonus for your amount of skill thing. And with Constellation 2, you gain a shield and you decrease Hydro Res. I feel like this should have been part of her actual kit. And that would have made her much better. But it is what it is. And C6, she does a little bit more damage. Thanks to extra crit and crit damage. But that is pretty much it. Her actual normal attacks don't really matter that much at all. She has a little cool thing I'll show you guys in a second. The elemental skill, obviously. This is where she gets entire her entire kit. So you, do, you have a hold skill and you just have a tap. The hold is where you want it to be at so it can bounce more times. Five times and then she gets healed. And while it bounces, it does some damage as well, which is really nice. And then you have the elemental burst. This is simply damage, straight up. And then her actual passive talent, you get the coalescent stuff, which gives you damage bonus for elemental skill, which is really nice. And then there is the extra healing. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to basically know. So for her normal attacks, I don't recommend you guys build that at all it's basically useless it's off of attack percentage which you won't really use on her at all especially her burst being uh, hp percentage it doesn't really matter so this is the only cool thing with her normal attacks is she she does that <laughs> it's 100 just a gimmick it's just there for fun i am pretty sure okay so we use the little elemental skill we throw that and then it does a little bouncy bounce and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. You gain the little bond of life stacks there, and then you heat up. It's pretty simple, I think. And I think Fischl now has, you know, stronger attacks because of the stacks as well, which is really, really nice. Okay, we kind of want to try her burst as well, so we use a little Fremenet here, we use whoever. Now we can try the burst. First, we use this for fun. And now we use the burst. <laughs> this is a cool burst. And then, ooh. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. This, that is all. <laughs> that is Siege Weed in a nutshell. I'm pretty sure she's pretty much just a heal. Trust me on this. If you have her at C0, you'll use her as heals. That is all you're going to need her as. And she's going to be, you know, a decent one. She's not going to be a great one, but she's going to be a decent one. So, yeah, there's that. I think her healing's actually really, really good. Um, but that's pretty much all she does. If you are building her, you know, simply like that, obviously if you're going to go for damage, um, her burst is where it's at. And uh, I won't say it's the greatest burst of all time, but I don't want to say it's the worst either. It's definitely a lot. Definitely a lot. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty it. Very simple character. I mean, might as well finish this guy off real quick. We do. Okay, we will pause. So, that was Seedry. Now, I want to continue the challenge, right? Because, obviously, they're using a team where, you know, it's kind of hard to see whether or not uh, she's actually doing enough damage bonus for Fischl. Um, especially with the, you know, weird opponents and stuff. But, I do think that they actually have a decent build on her. Especially with the weapon, you know, giving you a bunch of HP increase. And... Uh, I'm not a burst crew rate. So that is just a lot of stuff to go on her kit. Now, the one thing I do want to try out uh, once I get Seedrian and level up high enough, which is probably going to take a while to be fair. I want to try how much this actually changes or gives damage bonus alongside Urina. I want to see how much that does. And yeah, okay, I'm going to show you guys my summons now. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And see you guys in the thing version. Don't we don't. But let's see if we can. Okay. A true belief. Because hand pull. The hand pull. It'll get us. It'll get us there. Boom. The hand pull is. The hand pull. It'll get us there. Easy surgery. Easiest surgery of my life. Oh my gosh. We are so, so lucky. I mean, yeah. 
I mean, the banner itself is in gray, but hey, a siege green is a siege green. Boom, boom. Easy as that. Done. Out of, out of the banner. Out of the banner. Now we can just like oil ourselves. A, a, a quick little Fiorina if we wanted to. I mean, if we really wanted to, but nah, we don't really want to. The green, level up. <laughs> have none of these. I actually have zero of that. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I have enough pearls. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty funny. It's a pretty funny game. Okay, hopefully you guys have seen the summons by now. I'm, you know, kind of pre-recording it. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to the channel as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. And uh, I'll talk about how to build a little siege read. It's going to be pre-recorded before she actually is out. So keep that in mind as well. See you guys in the next one very soon.